This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, December 7th. Stock index futures putting in a very good performance today with futures sharply higher. Also, we are now above a downtrend line in the S&P 500 futures. Overall, the fundamentals seem to be bullish on balance for stock index futures, even though the Fed still seems to be on track to raise interest rates next year possibly at the June or July meetings. Longer term, though, I would expect continued gains for stock index futures with what I'm seeing. Currency markets seeing the dollar index trading just a little bit higher today, but interest rate differentials, I believe, are for the most part now just neutral for the currencies. So I see no great advantage either way in any of the currencies. But I believe there are much better opportunities in the interest rate futures markets, especially at the long end in the 30-year Treasury bond futures. The March futures advancing last week above downtrend lines. A little bit of profit taking coming in over the last couple of days, but I think any breaks should be used as a buying opportunity for the bonds. So even though the Fed may be more hawkish than other central banks, I think ultimately the Fed may have to relinquish a little bit on some of their hawkishness, be not quite as aggressive as other central banks seem to be pulling back, including the uh, People's Bank of China, which recently cut their reserve uh, requirement ratio. The Bank of England has been delaying rate increases, and the ECB also in a similar vein. So once again, I think the best opportunities in the financial markets, uh, at least over the near term is to be buying breaks in the 30-year Treasury bond futures. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.